Welcome to another TCGU video. My name is Bob Jackman and today we're going to be talking about shape division in Smart Notebook 15. Shape division is a feature that was added into the math tools that came out a few years ago. One of the downsides to the math tools was that it only worked on Windows. So now that this feature has been added into Notebook as a native feature, it works both on Mac and Windows. Shape division allows a shape to be divided into equal parts to demonstrate how fractions work. To do this, we'll begin with a shape. So I'm going to select on my shapes tool. I'm going to select, I can choose a perfect circle, a perfect square, or a rectangle. I'm going to start with a circle. So I click on my circle, and then in my page, I'm going to click and drag to draw my circle. Then next, I need to select the circle. So by clicking on the line, that'll select my circle. And then once selected, I'm going to click on the drop down box on the top right hand corner. In there, I'm gonna come down to Divide Shape. That'll bring up the Shape Division dialog box. It's gonna ask me how many equal sections I want. I can choose between two and 12. I'm gonna go ahead and click seven, since that can be really difficult to draw. And then I click OK. Now you'll notice that my circle has now been divided into seven equal shapes. There are two things I can do with these sections once I've divided the shape. The first is I can come up to the Fill tool select a color, and then I can fill individual sections of the shape using the fill tool. The second thing I can do is I can click and drag individual shapes and move them independently. So this allows me to manipulate that shape once I've divided it. I can also divide rectangles and squares. So if I come up to the shape tool, I'll select a rectangle, click and drag to draw my rectangle, click on the edge to select it, hit the drop down box and go to divide shape. This time I'm gonna divide it into 10 equal parts. Click OK and notice how it is divided into 10 equal sections. Squares and rectangles will always divide into horizontal bars. Now let's show a practical curriculum example. So here we're talking about equivalent fractions. We're talking about how 1 3rd equals 2 6 So I've used the shape division tool to create this. And now what I can do is drag my 1 3rd over top of my 2 6 to show the equivalence. If I want to make this even more fun, what I can do is select the 1 3rd block, come up here to the transparency fader, slide this down to make it a little bit more transparent so that as I drag that over, we can better see that equivalence. So that is how you use shape division in Notebook 15. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share.